so i am currently on my way to fedex to pick up my boa um this has been a frustrating experience to say the least so my boa has been saying the shipment has been saying delayed since 10 a.m yesterday that's when my boa was supposed to arrive to me it's been showing up on the app as delayed on my end and the guy who shipped the boa to me brian boas and he's been trying to contact people to try to figure out what the holdup is and he said that to just to be patient sometimes that this happens and he will keep me updated well he hit me up today and was like he's been trying to get in contact with people he hasn't been getting any information and just to continue to stay patient so i'm frustrated as hell i'm panicked because i'm like you know it's an animal he's stuck in a box he hasn't had any water i don't know what the last time he's eaten so i'm worried about the boa's safety his health and the fact that i i, I spent a pretty penny <laughs> on this animal so finally i was like you know what let me try to see if i can call customer service and get them on the phone uh i was able to talk to somebody lo and behold my boa has been at the place it's supposed to be since 10 a.m yesterday apparently there was some type of shipping label issue and it's just showed up on our end as delayed or not delivered but they pulled it up in their system and from what they were sending it said that the boa arrived when it was supposed to so yeah as soon as i i heard that information as soon as i knew that my boa has been sitting over there for over 24 hours in that box i'm like i got in the car immediately and that's where i'm headed right now so with that being said hopefully everything is okay hopefully he's alive and well and i'll be able to make a, a nice unboxing video for you guys so stay tuned and uh yeah see how it goes and we're here let's see what they say in here if they have anything to say All right, y'all, so we made it back to the house. Um, I've already explained to y'all how long and frustrating this process has been, but we're not gonna talk about any of that no more. The snake's here, so all is well. At least, I hope all is well. You know, he was sitting in that box for a minute. Anything could have happened, but I'm optimistic that everything is okay. Um, I explained to y'all in my last unboxing video with my Peruvian that that was probably my favorite locality. If there was ever a snake to challenge that, it would be what I'm about to show y'all right now. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but these reptiles, man, their, their, their beauty isn't captured to their, their, their full potential on these cameras. Like the depth of their beauty, you just, you have to see it in person, you know? And I may, I may I very well may pull this snake out of the box and this will be my clear number one as far as far as favorites go. I've been wanting one of these forever. Finally got one and um, yeah, I can't wait. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alrighty. And just like, <laughs> just like the last snake of the Peruvian, these two have a, a reputation of being temperamental, but they're bluffers. The Peruvian, They'll actually, uh, you know, they, they don't just talk. These are very hissy snakes, but it's just a bluff. They don't actually do anything. Anything. They don't actually do anything. It's just, it's, they're just blowing hot air. Peruvians, on the other hand, you got to be careful with. So, we may or may not hear anything with this, but let's get into it. Hopefully, he's okay. He's been in this box forever. I can only imagine. I will update you guys too on my Peruvian sooner or later. Damn. Shout out to Brian. Brian Bogus, he has definitely sealed this guy up nice and tight. As you guys seen too, that Peruvian was uh, a sub-adult. He's like four and a half foot long. 
This one is truly a baby. Here he is. Ooh, smell like he used the bathroom for sure. Mm. That's never pleasant. Oh, he's moving in there. That's a good sign. I'm going to get this off. Can't be surprised that he used the bathroom. He's been in there forever. I say he is funky, he is funky. It's like a, a fishy odor. Bear with me, y'all, bear with me. Woo, he came straight out of there. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Check them out. If you haven't already guessed, he is a beautiful Argentine boa. His dad is Max Pink, and his uh, his mom is a traditional black and white Argentine. So he may or may not retain any of his pink splotches. They look like they're already kind of fading out. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, let me get a, a closer look at this guy. Oh my God, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. I cannot wait to raise him up and watch him grow and change with each shit and develop, get darker. What's up, man? What's up? His eyes are amazing. Again, the camera's not gonna do him justice. And he's a sweetheart. No hissing, no signs of aggression. He is a sweetheart. Chill. Brian did a really good job uh, socializing them. Can't wait to put you inside of your enclosure. Get you some heat, get you something to eat. I'm thinking about uh oh his belly is beautiful too. I'm thinking about Vader for a name, guys. What you think? Put in the comments if you like Vader. Or if you guys like something else, put it in the comments and maybe y'all name my snake, whatever you guys come up with. Check them out, check them out, check them out. If I can get this to focus and not focus on me. There we go. Look at those eyes. Come on now, focus. Get off of me. Oh well. You guys get the gist, man. Beautiful Argentine boa. A few months old, maybe six months old or so. And uh, yeah, this is him. Glad everything's okay, man. Glad everything's okay. He looks nice and healthy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put him in his house and update you guys on his journey. So next time, man, like, comment, Subscribe, I would appreciate it. And uh, if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, let me know and I'll try to get around to making a video about it. Take care of you, boys. Love you, boys. Till next time, peace.